Hey everybody, welcome back to another Rob Reacts. Let me tell you what I've been doing this afternoon. I have been in the kitchen today. I'm playing with a recipe for baguettes. So I've played with it. I'm like, okay, I've got my texture right. Yeah, I just want to tweak the flavor some. Eventually, coming up here, you're going to see me make a video that I'm showing you um, how to make some baguette once I get the flavor dialed in for my palate. Once I get that dialed in, which that means I'm going to be making dozens of loaves getting there. Once I get there, I'll have a video in the Fat Daddy Eats section showing you how I, I make it. So. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to thump you. I think I thumped you with that mic. Anyway, we're going to review a video, Tug Trash Outdoors. I've reviewed one of his videos before where he went out and caught a bunch of shrimp. What I love about his videos is it's family-oriented content. I mean, it's him and his bride and him and his bride and his daughter. And they're going out and using the resources right there available to them and they catch and then he brings you home and then he shows you how he cooks them he's going after blue crab and i told y'all last week my plan was to go crabbing last weekend but i had some issues going on this weekend is father's day weekend it's my short weekend it's compressed i had a graduation i had to do this morning i came home and cooked bread this afternoon now here i am building this up for you and it'll get posted monday anyway next weekend possibly I go back to the video I wanted to create, which was going down and catching some blue crabs. So I said, I better review because I want to see how Tug Trash is going to catch these crabs. And then I want to see how he's going to cook them because I'm going to do a catch and cook. And I'm probably going to copy this because you can only boil crabs so many times on your video channel. So let's see what's going on here. He says it's the best way to cook blue crabs. Tug Trash, take it away, man. All right, guys, so I'm out here on the St. Johns River. Now, I'm gonna put some traps in for blue crabs. This is our first try for blue crabs this year. And we're out here in what is essentially fresh water in the blue, <laughs> essentially fresh water in the St. Johns River. Right and the crabs that come out of the fresh water are so much sweeter. But I got my traps and I've got some frozen pogies here. Okay. That me and Crystal netted up the other day, y'all saw that. We're gonna go ahead, bait up, I'm gonna put five traps. We're gonna give them three, four days and see what we got. I'm in. Okay, first off, um, his pots that he has, are commercial grade pots that is not when you do see me throw my pot out and i'm doing the video uh my pot doesn't look like this this is a commercial grade pot that's that's hard wired, it's vinyl coated i see he also has the uh rebar bent around and shaped into that to make sure that it lands bottom down um this looks like a commercial crab pot that you'd see up in Maryland. Yeah, I got one of the, let me run to a store and just grab a crab pot. So it's vinyl coated chicken wire. Yes, I'm gonna bend some rebar and put on the bottom. It's not gonna go around the whole bottom like his does. So y'all don't slight, slight me when I'm doing that. This man is leaving his pots overnight, coming back the next day and picking them up to see what he's got. I'm gonna be slinging a pot off on the side while I go fishing for blue crabs. So that's that's my plan with a friend. Yeah, uh, the other thing, if you look at some of those, most of those Maryland crabbers up there in Maryland, they're throwing shrimp heads in there. Pogies is good. And what I liked hearing him talk about is he's up in that brackish water. He said almost fresh water, which means he's far up into that St. John's River. That's where, a lot of your big males end up hanging around there. So yeah, anxious to see this. All right, let's roll. 10 to 15 foot of water and we're gonna start dropping traps, y'all. Wow, 
Wow, he's deep. He's fishing deep. Now, like I said, I'm about 10 to 15 foot of water. I got 20 foot ropes. Yeah, if he's fishing in 15 foot of water. And since I was out at the river, <laughs> I thought I'd do a little fishing. There you go. All right, let me pause this and, and, and let my, my thoughts go. Because he's in a river, so he's dealing with current. Um, and, and that's why he has that weighted bottom down with that rebar bent all the way around, just like they do up there in Maryland. So, cool. Anxious to see if he's almost in freshwater, what's he going to be catching? Y'all, I'm not lying to you. I just caught one my very first try. This is something I've never done before. Look at that awesome bluegill, bluegill right there. Big old copper-headed bluegill. Beautiful fish. That's a two-hander. First spot I tried. Uh, and and I've, I've heard about people coming out and doing this, but... I've never actually seen them do it. Big That's old, a huge bluegill. Bluegill. I'm super awesome. stoked on that. Great catch. Now I don't know if that was beginner's luck or not, but I was I was figuring I'll just see if I'd catch one first before I started filming. So what I'm gonna do is just put that bad boy up under there. I see it looks like it's already getting tapped, I think. Oh, uh, you knew this pier had fish on it. Come on, man. Big hole. Nice. Man. Nice. That's the second one off this dock here. I think that's a red breast. I'm not a, not a seasoned uh, that's, freshwater dude. Yeah, that's Lapomus. Just trying new stuff today. Um, that's a long-eared sunfish, yeah. Red breast. But what I'm doing is <coughs> taking, all I had was night crawlers. I, I think I'd rather have the smaller worms, but I got a little piece of night crawler. Of course, this is all tangled up. Hold on. We like crickets Me over too. here. And I've got a little gold hook. I don't know if you guys can A see that. Aberdeen and hook. Hooking the little hooking a little piece of worm on there i've got a couple small split shots and a bobber aka strike indicator and i'm just flipping it up under these docks and kind of letting it drift under it seems like i get hit when it gets under there and this is a different Good dock on. there's a boat on this one. Oh yeah it's a nice fish so yeah he's just dock uh, fishing it's a catfish that's why i got uh. a good one i thought this was like brimzilla <laughs> Put him back. Old. It's like a butter cat. Get that hook out. But little butter cat. Might be a channel cat actually. Again, I'm not an expert on river stuff. You gonna make me put my it glasses on me? I thought I had the bluegill of a lifetime. Uh, that looked like a bullhead of some type. Well, after hitting a few more docks that day, I never did find the bluegill like I'd hoped. Mm. But I'm back for my crabs. That was a good old big copper nose you caught, though. That first one you caught. All right, y'all. It's five-day soak. Got Cody out here. You guys remember him from the Mahi video. We're going to go pull these blue crab traps, see what we got. First trap, folks. Five days, though. Let's see what we got. Oh yeah. Loaded. We got we got crabs. Okay. Well, three. Three. I like a better average than that. But we got one nice one in there. Two eaters, maybe one throwback. Hey, empty them. Let's uh let's empty them right into this cooler. Uh oh. That's a good crab right there angry crab but we're putting them right on the cooler and ice that'll chill them out so that they don't try to kill us when we're cooking them amen
pulling up on numero dos. What do we got? What do we got? Now we we plan to eat crabs this afternoon, so we need to get some crabs. Yeah. Yeah, it's special. Come on. Oh yeah. Look at that huge oh, crab, dude. Good dude. Wow. Now nah, that's what we're talking about. That's a pot. Right that there. one right there is probably seven inches across his back. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's the kind nice. of average I like to see. Nice. Put them right into the cooler. I'm so guessing it's easier to get out than stone crabs, man. Them stone crabs will bite you. Come on, buddy. I'm guessing they they have the same five inch um, krill limit as we have in Mississippi, and I think they have in Maryland. I think five inches is the smallest crab you can actually keep. He don't want to go. Oh, he's going. He likes the river. He's going. That's two of... And we're stacking the pots. Oh. I got to go back to work on Tuesday. Okay. So these traps are going back to the yard. Oh, okay. So he's bringing them Pot home. number three, folks. So he's got 10 crabs in two pot. Come on, crab. Yeah. Come on. Smells like crabs. Oh, oh. Ah, uh, four, five, five ain't bad. That's hey, empty 15. that bait out first so we don't get it all over the boat. Perfect. Yeah, that makes sense. That one was loaded with bait. I think maybe I soaked them too long and some of the crabs are crawling out. But they, they're finding your funnels. Life gets busy. We've been offshore fishing and having all kinds of fun. Got to live that life. Number four. Uh-oh. 80% of the thing? traps when this comes up. What'd I say, 15? This one needs to be loaded. Come on. Come on. Mm, one, two, three. But they're big crabs. Mm -hmm. Big old Jimmy 18. crabs. 18. Huh. Yeah, that sucks. You go empty your bait that way you don't shake it all over your boat love having rotting bait in the no, boat it's all good crabbing is a a dirty dirty thing if you <laughs> don't want your boat to get dirty you probably shouldn't crab which is why i'm building that carolina skiff boat in my yard right now so i don't use the bay boat for crabbing anymore we get in there that looks like a meal to me one trap to go last trap Usually I set 10, but I just felt like doing five this last time. I went out just trying to catch some bluegill. Thought if I'm gonna be at the river, I ought to put some traps in. What we got? Oh, couple. Not the greatest crabbing I've ever been on. It's like Might four. just be in a bad part of the river, but we got enough to eat. We also got a bunch of grouper and mahi from the other day. So crabs and mahi. Sounds like a menu. Y'all gonna be eating good. One, two, three, four, five. I mean, shoot, there's five or six in there. Hey, we got dinner. Not too shabby. Close to a couple dozen. Look how angry that crab is. I've said it before. You lucky them things don't get any bigger than that, they'd kill you. So I love being out here at the river, man. It just doesn't really get any better. And like I said earlier, these are freshwater crabs with very little salinity in this water and uh, they're super, super sweet. But hmm. got them loaded up, taking them back on home. And uh, oh, tonight, Cody and Stacy are gonna come over wait. this afternoon. And wait, 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 wait. I wanna see where he got those traps from. He put it up, it was just, all right, Wishard wire traps. And he gives the phone number. That was too short of a clip there. Tug, uh, need to let people know where they can get these traps because 
those are some heavy duty traps that you're using. I wondered, would they ship over here to Mississippi? Taking them back on home and, uh, Tonight, Cody and Stacy are gonna come over this afternoon and we're gonna cook us up some crabs, maybe some shrimp, maybe some grouper, I don't know. This is what I wanna see. How he's gonna take these uh, home and cook, what they're gonna to put together. I'm looking for a new idea. How are we cooking? You say this is the best way to cook blue crabs? I wanna see it. All right, y'all, so we got us a cooler full of crabs here and i've been icing them we've definitely done better before but for five traps that's pretty good there's at least two dozen in there's there. some big ones in and there i'm gonna clean these things up look at that one wants to kill me right there i'm gonna clean these things up for barbecuing so i'll show you how i do that real easy you got a big male jimmy here he's a little rusty um what i do is okay so You've got to ice these dudes down to be able to do this. You aren't going to reach in. If they aren't hibernated out, you, you aren't grabbing this crab like this. Um, Because I don't know if you ever had a blue crab on you. It ain't no fun. Just pop their back like that and come in here and pull their gills off. Dead man fingers. Pull them lungs one time and people lost their minds. Then pull their little face area yep. off. Then you got the innards there. Best way to do that, just take a garden hose like that and go ahead and spray it on out. Okay. What you end up with is a beautiful crab. Now, what I'm going to do is, like I said, I'm going to barbecue these and we got a really delicious basting sauce that we're going to put them on. Okay, so that basting sauce, um, in crawfish, the fat is part of it. That's that's what draws up your spices. That's that's that does your thing when you're doing a boil. When I'm doing a crab boil, I I, I rake the fat that you just washed out with a water hose. Um, I I eat that that. Hell, in in Maryland they call that mustard. But um, I can see that you are adding a basting sauce. So apparently you're going to load it up with spices with something else other than the fat, taking up the spices that you put in your water since we aren't boiling them. Put on them, but start working through these things is gonna take me a minute. But that ice will put them right to sleep. They don't feel a thing. That so is yeah. now a, a dispatch crab. Those are out. Bing, bam, boom. All right, so we got them beautiful blue crabs. Went out and got those this morning, and we're going to char grill them. Or grill ah. them. But what I have here is roasted garlic. That's about three heads. We'll squeeze another head in there because you can never have too much roasted garlic. You know that's right. And then, excuse me, I have a stick and a half of melted butter and we're gonna go our roasted garlic right into that melted butter. And I just looked at it and I felt like that's a lot of garlic, but mm -mm. we're all gonna all right. have bad breath after this. Three heads. So mix that in. All right, so a head of garlic for every half a stick of butter. Cause you said you had a stick and a half of butter and three heads of roasted garlic. We're gonna add the juice of one lime. Now what this is, is gonna be my basting sauce. So as I'm grilling those crabs, I'm gonna keep basting them. And if you look at the crabs, they have like a pre-made little hole where all the guts usually are. Well, that's where the basting sauce goes while they're on the grill and it just. Okay, I have a question. Can I use lemons instead of limes? That's my question. Can I use lemons instead of limes? It cooks into that meat and makes for a delicious uh, sauce. So mix that up, keep mixing. And then I have, this is homemade daddle sauce from Harold. You guys have seen this bottle before. 
I'm gonna put like that much. And some Cajun seasoning. You know I like K-Fred's Cajun seasoning. Okay. Go in with that. And then it's just basically to taste. I'm gonna mix this up, taste it, see if it's got enough seasoning in it. If it doesn't, I'll put a little bit more K-Fred in there. Okay, another question. What is daddle sauce? That looked like a ketchup bottle to me. What is daddle sauce? Hey Siri, what is daddle sauce? All right, got to put my eyes on Chef Daryl sauce. Tug, if you're watching this video, I need to know what daddle sauce is. I'm also going to split this in half. So I'll baste the crabs, but I'll also have some for dipping while we're eating. Cool. I think that so it makes enough for both. Sauce. Daddle sauce. What the heck is daddle sauce? Let's check it out. You just got it in your beard, and now it's on your shirt. <laughs> hey, if it ain't on your shirt, you ain't cooking. It's got a little bit of a kick to it. Ooh. So, there it is. That is our grilled crab basting it sauce. Delicious. Oh, it looks good. So, we out here playing with the Slock Master blowgun. <laughs> Cody's about to order one. He's <laughs> been wreaking havoc on the squirrels. <laughs> But we're we're putting these crabs on right now, so oh, here, you here. Want me to I do hold this. You do the thing. Okay. I've just got the grill set on low, and we got our blue crabs. We're gonna go ahead, go on with them. I don't want to. You can overcook them real quick, but I also don't want to cook them like too fast. So I just got it set on low. Okay. Do you do you know your temp range when you're running on low? How long are we cooking them for? I, I got more questions than I do. I, I need to just watch him. He, he he's gonna tell us. Are they all gonna fit? I hope so, because we gotta grill that mahi too. Mm -hmm. I'll probably have to pull them off and then do the mahi. And then Perfect. Wow. I've got That's that a lot of crab tasting sauce I was talking about. And that roasted garlic like emulsified it. <laughs> so each crab it has like its own little natural spot right there. You get that sauce down in there and it cooks oh. down into the meat as they're going. It's like a little cavity. It's made for it. It's like that you were supposed to do this. Aye. I'm going to have it all over my shirt by the end of the night. Oh my lord, that looks awesome. How about that? Bubble cam. Oh, now I've I, I done... Look at them. I'm gonna, All of them turn red. They're almost done. I'm going to flip them one time just to get get some flavor on that side. Mm-hmm. So. Are you ready? Oh, yeah. Look at them all. <laughs> it gets all bubbly in there. And amazing. That's so good. Can you smell it? Mm-hmm. I know. Much of a smell o vision Yeah, right? <laughs> I think the real trick is just not to, not to overdo them. Yeah. This, I'm doing this. I'm just gonna give it like a minute on that side, then flip them over and baste them one last time. Oh, so you so you keep them lubed up Go with ahead your and sauce. These back over. Their little legs are getting all crispy. That's just because the legs stick down through the grates and they get hot. But luckily for us, you don't eat the tips of the legs. Well, I'm going to be doing this you with might. a smoker I'm not gonna eat that I can might. set a temperature on. Marlon will. Marlon definitely will. So I'm thinking low is going to be like 250. Oh, dude, that looks friggin' awesome. Okay, so we're putting the crabs on the pretty plate, not the aluminum plate, <laughs> even though everybody here hates doing dishes. All that delicious bubbly crab and garlic and butter uh. <laughs> what do you got right there babe twice baked potatoes with what in them uh bacon and blue cheese and butter those look and amazing and then cheddar cheese on top we have yes. some shrimp we've been eating on those those are boiled uh oak hill shrimp mm -hmm. extra dipping sauce 
and I'm putting this mahi on right now. All right, guys. So it's another Tug Trash Sunday dinner. We've got these delicious grilled blue crabs. Dude, this. We got those shrimp, uh, crystals, potatoes, some grilled mahi, and a fresh salad. Mm -hmm. And we got my mom, Cody, Stacy, of course, Bianca, Me. and Crystal. <laughs> but, uh, Last. We got mullet. <laughs> we got oh, mullet. This is his favorite out here because he gets up on that. <laughs> so we're going to try one of these grilled up crabs. Bust them in half like that. You got that back little swimmer right there. You kind of just work on that cold. Oh, really, man. dude? Never fails. <laughs> Try to film something. <laughs> Every time. Neighbor's size start trimming his bushes, dogs bark, <laughs> and then just push that whole lump out like that. <laughs> mm. Good stuff. That is good stuff right there. How's the sauce? It's delicious. Dude, look perfect. at that. I've got to get over there. What do you think? I've got to get over there. Yeah, those are all Good mine. <laughs> My mouth <laughs> is literally yeah. watery you watching crab this. crackers. Potatoes. But Bianca <laughs> but doesn't eat shrimp. We learned that in the yeah, last yeah. review. <laughs> but she likes crab. Okay. That's the money meat right here. Oh, dip it. <laughs> oh, oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. Delicious. That is so good. Mm. The fish is amazing. We're going to dig in here. This will probably be a short video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And we'll see I you did. on the next one. All right. And we're back again. It is Wednesday. All right. Well, I did enjoy that video. Uh, it was an abrupt ending with a ad at the very end i i don't know why youtube picked that spot to put the ad in there but they did apparently this is the next video that i need to catch up on so i'm not going to watch that so um but dude i've got to smoke some blue crab i've got to go down i'm i'm i promise y'all heading back down to the coast Last time I was down there with Glenn and we were catching more crabs on the rod and reel than we were on the baskets that I was looking at. Uh, we caught a whole bunch, but we didn't get a whole bunch on film because my battery died and the camera overheated at one point and uh, our camera person had to leave, had something they had to do. So we were trying to juggle and do all that. But the cool thing is I learned to crab fish. Put you a jig on there, hook into a chicken neck and cast it dang near in the middle of the dang bayou and wait for that rod tip to bounce. Reel it in slowly, dip net it up like you're landing a fish and we loaded up a whole bunch of crab like that. And I caught some in the basket. But I'm going to throw a sure enough pot like Tug Trash had, just a smaller version, not quite as nice as his. Toss that out, leave that sit, and the whole video will be us fishing for crab and then pulling it up at the end of the day. Four hours of the trap soaking is what we're going to have. He had five days of soaking. We're only going to do it for four. But I'm definitely... I'm going to have to reach out to Ian. I need him to tell me what Daddle Sauce is. I need him to help me with some times. And I definitely want to replicate that recipe. I My, my grill is a Pit Boss 1600 Pro Elite. So I can set my temperature. I want to know the time before we flip. And he left it only flip for a minute, and then he flipped them back, and he put more of the sauce back in there to add that flavor in. I want to make sure that I duplicate that. Um, probably I don't like showing cooking videos, Fat Daddy Eat videos, without having the recipe perfected to my palate. Thus, you know, 
the bread recipe. I made baguettes today, but I'm not ready to show it on video until I get it ready for my taste. Um, dude, I got to get over to this side of the country, man. That you were just in the spot and folks love watching Ian and Crystal and Bianca. It's a good family content. There's going to be links to get to Tug Trash Outdoors. If you want to watch a video of wholesome family enjoying what the Lord has provided for us and then showing you how to cook and to eat it, kind of like Keith and Tara over there with That Louisiana Life, Tug Trash is the Florida version. Um, there will be links to Tug Trash's channel in the description please make sure you go over there and subscribe to his channel y'all take care it was great being here with you again sorry it's another reaction video that's the way life works sometimes i've just got to sit in the studio and do this rather than get out and uh crab because i'm getting stuff yanked out of my mouth and i'm not feeling good that kind of stuff y'all take care We'll see you next week.